So more and more in med device, what people want to see, what your regulated body wants to see, what FDA wants to see is risk-based decision making. Uh, and that goes all the way into the purchase of capital equipment. And what Andrews Cooper can do for you is we start in the very beginning with a process failure mode and effect analysis. Uh, something very familiar to most, most people in the med device manufacturing facilities. Uh, however, this is specifically based on our automation concept. Again, before we even start the design process. And what we can do is highlight key risk items that are directly related back to the product severity codes that you would already have on your design FMEA. We then take that and look at probability and detection of our automation concepts. And what that means on the probability is how likely do we think that our concept solution will actually meet that output or and or cause the failure that you're concerned about. The detectability is how likely do we think the tool can prevent escapements, whether that's through inspection, whether that's through sensors, whatever it may be, how likely do we know that that's not gonna get out uh, and impact uh, the client or the customer or the patient in your case. And from there, we can basically rank and file with a risk priority number to determine what are the key areas of that manufacturing line uh, that we need to go basically concept out and prove out before we start building the whole line out. And uh, we've done that with a number of different clients. What comes out of it is a full report that shows, did we reduce that RPN level? Um, if so, great, let's move forward. If not, what are the steps that we need to move? Sometimes it's changes to the design of the product. Sometimes it's updating the uh, concept inspection systems. Sometimes it's starting over from scratch. But the key there is that we are taking a risk-based approach that's directly tied to the product severity to, uh, the to, to the making and designing of the tool. And that's proven out really, really well for us and our clients. Uh, then we go a little bit further downstream and we get down to the testing and commissioning of the built equipment once we've gotten to that point. And it goes right back to that very early stage. We take that PFMEA, we update it, and we show that we have effectively done those actions to reduce the product risk. Uh, we take our FAT, or factory acceptance testing protocol, and we rope it a lot and align it to that, that risk-based approach. So we're talking the same language that you guys are talking in your med device company. Uh, it's directly, you can take those documents, you can throw them right into your QMS if you need to, or copy and paste them into your own templates. But you're basically not starting from scratch once this tool gets dropped off on your facility, like other automation integrators may do for you. Uh, we're, we're working with you in the very beginning.